those Labour voters who are frustrated because they see a government in power that they don't want. They see a Prime Minister who has prorogued Parliament, who may not obey the law. Mm. They listen to what he's saying. They don't trust him. Yeah. They want Jeremy Corbyn to be Prime Minister. Why are you letting them down by not voting for a general election? We're not. We will have a general election. It's coming soon. You've had two opportunities hey, to vote for one. Yeah, but what we have to do is... Because we really want a general election, we have to be quite careful about this, and we had to take a step back and say, what's he up to? And we realised what he was up to, because I've read, because <laughs> I'm sad like that, the Fixed Term Parliament Act. Mm. And what he offered us is, go on then, go on then, vote for a general election, and then what he could do is pocket it, and then he decides on the date. And so our problem was, because he's such a liar, he would say, oh, don't worry, trust me, I will have an election in the middle of October. But then he could he locks us out of Parliament. What are you right? worried about? What are you worried about when it comes to the date? We're worried that what he's going to do is he's going to end up with a general election after he's crashed us out of the European Union. So he would say, oh, yeah, I promise we'll have it on the 15th. Okay. Whilst we're locked out of Parliament, he speaks to Her Majesty and he says, no, sorry, because of all the emergency, uh, whatever. He then says, I'm going to have it on the of what November. is your definition, Emily Thornbury, of a liar? Somebody who doesn't tell the truth okay. on a serial I want to play you a basis. Clip. I want to play you a clip of Jeremy Corbyn, your leader, uh, on Good Evening Britain, the inaugural Good Evening Britain, in which we asked him a very simple question. At he gave a very, last very firm, emphatic and answer. Do you Europe. believe there should be a people's vote on the final it's deal? Not, it's not in our, our plans at all. So what no we, vote? No, what we're saying is that Parliament should have the final say on it and that's why I was very disappointed that last week Parliament was not as yet given the final say on amendable motions and things so like that. So those like Tony Blair who won a second referendum on all this and believe that, you know, the country just got it wrong and they will come to their senses, what do you say? Well, I say a referendum took place. It was a single-question referendum. A result was delivered. I campaigned for a different result. We didn't get it. You have to respect the result of that referendum. Right. Well, that couldn't be clearer. There's the leader of your party. The result has to be respected. There will be no second referendum, no people's vote. We've had one and we have to honour it. Is he, was he lying or no, no. was he being disingenuous? How long ago or... was that? How June long ago last was that? year. So, June last year. So, we're talking about more than a year ago. We're talking mm. about three years since the last referendum. Mm. Things have really changed. And what we want to do is we want to be able to go back to the people and say, did you vote for this? Did you vote for all this chaos? Did you vote for food shortages? Did you vote for shortages of medicine? Did you vote for queues around the block for petrol? Mm. Because that's what the government's own papers They were told when, they, when, when people voted the last time... Well, people voted last time. Well, they on. were told it was going to be the easiest deal hang possible. Hang on, hang on. They were also... Was, there, there was, that there was going to be a deal. I haven't asked you my question yet. I know where you're going. No, you don't. <laughs> where am I going? Well, you're going to go and say, presumably, that people voted to leave, that they were that they're not stupid, no, that they weren't no, lied to. They no, were I, lied to no. and they were told a whole load of different I think, things. I think they were lies. And now, three Emily, years on, Emily when Thornbury. they get a chance to see what it really means, okay. we need to Fine. go back to the Here's my here's this my is here's what my question want. I was actually going to ask you, which is this. Go on, then. I was going to say to you, there were liars on all sides, or people telling untruths, or t people making apocalyptic predictions which simply didn't materialise. And I'll give an example. George Osborne, who was Chancellor at the time, based on Treasury reports, said, if we vote to leave within weeks, there will be a shock impact of the recession, 800,000 job losses, GDP will collapse, and so on and so on. None of that has materialised. In fact, the numbers yesterday, highest uh, economic numbers for six months mm. in July. To be fair, we are at, hang this on, warning we are at, hang was on, based hang on, on the fact that we would finish, leave quickly, I'm not talking to the Shadow Foreign Secretary, not you. three years right. You should listen to what she says. Right. Thank if you I very may much, say, Emily Thornton. We are performing better than Germany, right? We Do you haven't accept left that? yet. Do you know, have you been on to holiday? Those people who are watching this programme went on holiday to Germany. They would have seen how little they could buy with their pound. Why is it that the pound is crashing in the way that it is? We know there no? was... A, we know why? there was... No, no, you, you, you know, why is that happening? Well, it's I... because of the difficulties that we're facing... Question. Because of the difficulties we're facing in the future in relation to our economy if we go and walk away from the biggest block that we are okay. supposed to I trade get your with position. and we go sailing off into the mid-Atlantic and we're no longer going to be trading properly right, with the rest of Europe. Let me clarify your position, which you came up with on Question Time, your latest position as a, you know, as a party representative. And it was this, unless I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong about this, you intend to fight and win the election in the next few weeks whenever it happens, yes? 
Yes. You can answer yes or no to these questions. Oh, OK, right. right? right. It's like a so, party game. I see. No, because I, right. want, I want real clarity. So You, you could you... always just ask me what my position no, is. No, no, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to ask you to do yes or no. You tell me what my position is. No, no, I'm going to ask you to confirm or deny, right, various questions. You intend to win the election, yes? You bet. OK, good. <laughs> when you win the election, you intend as a party to go to the European Union and renegotiate the deal. Can I put it in my own words? No, I want you to oh, answer the question. Okay, right. Yes, you can. Well, hang on. Right. No, hang on. Yeah. You can afterwards, but this is a yes okay, or no. Right, okay. Do you intend to go to the EU and renegotiate? Yes or no? Yes, we need okay. to renegotiate. So you're going to renegotiate... This deal is nonsense OK, and it's so you'll renegotiate a deal and Labour, the Labour government will then have a deal, right? Which you will have brought back a better deal for the people from the European Union, yes? Mm-hmm. Then, <laughs> your position, I understand it, is that you will then call a second referendum, yes? Is that a yes? Yes. OK. And in the second referendum, you won't actually be campaigning for your deal from the EU. You will campaign to remain against your own deal. And my question, is that true, that last part? I want to hear the rest of your question. Well, is it yes or no to that? <sighs> you intend to campaign for Remain in a referendum okay, yeah. against... Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Okay. To, to be yeah. fair, so my you question... should be proud of your own policy. Yeah. So my question to you is this. I mean, it's just like... What kind of deal do you... Given this is your stated policy, what kind of great new deal do you think the EU is going to give a Labour government if they already know, before you even sit down to negotiate with them, that you intend to vote or campaign against whatever that deal is and tell the country to stay in the European Union? H how many concessions do you think you're going to wrestle out of the <laughs> EU in that circumstance? And it's a serious question. OK. We have always said that what we need to do is, if we're going to leave the European Union, we have to look after jobs and the economy. And we believe that the best way to do that is to be in a customs union and have a close agreement with the single market, a close arrangement with the single market. That's why we were against Theresa May's deal, right? Now, my position has always been that we, what we have to do is we have to look after jobs and the economy more than anything else. And so if we're going to have a referendum, I believe it's in Britain's best interest to have a deal that looks after jobs and the economy. Now, what we will do... That wasn't my question. No, well, can I... My question was, given your stated position is not to support any deal in a second referendum that you get out of the EU, and they know that... Why would you anticipate that the EU will give you any more concessions on the existing deal than the one that you've already voted against when you come back? I don't understand how your negotiating position is anything but catastrophically weak, given you've already publicly stated, and so has Jeremy Corbyn, <laughs> that whatever happens, whatever deal you try and get back, actually you'll tell the country mm. in a second referendum to remain. It's in Europe's interests for us to have a good deal, just like it's in our interest to have a good deal. It's in Europe's interest for us to have a close relationship with the European Union, and, and it works both ways. So if we're in a customs union and they can trade easily with us and we can trade easily with them, if we're in a close market relation, single market relationship with them, it's in their best interests. And, it's, and why would they want us to do badly as a major economy that sits on the side of them that they want to trade but Emily so if that's they, why if they agree, we would have a good deal yeah. with the European okay. Union. That Do you believe you, you believe you would get a better deal? My question: If they, if you got that better deal, yeah, would you still campaign against it? Yeah. So can I explain in three sentences? Yeah. Let's just do it in Take three sentences. Take as many sentences. as you like. And maybe if we could have a, our own deal, whereby you don't interrupt me during those three sentences. Absolutely. Okay. The floor so, is yours. So okay. So, Already interrupting. <laughs> I'll start now, right? Start now. Here we go. So what I want is I want to make sure that we look after jobs in the economy. So if we have a referendum, I believe that what's best for jobs in the economy is to remain in the European Union. So I would be dishonest to do anything other than to campaign to remain. However, if we're going to have a referendum, we have to have a referendum that has a real choice. So it is to remain or what? So what we would do is we would want to negotiate a good deal, like a kind of insurance policy, whereby it would be a deal whereby we would be in a customs union and close to a single market. We would then put it to the people and we would say, this, this is your choice, this is a deal that works and looks after what does the least amount of damage to jobs in the economy, and then we have Remain. And then when we have the referendum, I will, I will be doing what's best for jobs in the economy and say, I think that we should remain. But, you know, if what we do you say people, to people... Wait, I still haven't you finished You said three my, sentences. I, let me just... I'm so close to finishing. So if 
So if we had that referendum and if people then decided that despite everything they wanted to leave, then at least we would have the best way forward for our country, which would be looking after jobs in the economy, which would be Labour's, rem Labour's okay, leave deal that we have always talked about. We are being completely consistent. We've always said we should uh, be actually, in Actually, Labour has union. been... Uh, we've sorry, always Emily. Said that I'm we sorry. Labour has been completely inconsistent. No, we haven't. You have flip-flopped as no, a party. We wherever the wind has blown on this, this right? And by the way, I'm a Remain like you, right? I don't think we should be doing this. But I believe that we have to honour the democratic result of that referendum. And everything about Labour's position right now is actually stopping Brexit happening. During those three your, years... Your party's position now has gone from, we are going to respect the result. Well, let me, let me have my okay, three sentences, on, right? Three the sentences. party's position has moved from Jeremy Corbyn That's sitting one. at this desk, right, sitting at this desk and saying there will be no second referendum. We will honour the result of the first. To now a position of, actually, there will be a second referendum and we will campaign to stay against the democratic wishes and result of that referendum. Well, and that is a gigantic flip-flop. Well, well, and I think it's a betrayal of Labour voters who voted to leave. No, I mean, so I first, of all, first of all, Piers, Labour's position in relation to the manifesto has not yet been decided. We are a big old Democratic What about your last party. manifesto in the last election? Yeah, and the last manifesto... What did they say about Brexit? Um, the, we well, sorry, have, sorry if it annoys you. Okay, I'm actually, just trying to say. But actually, trying... in your last manifesto in the election after the referendum, you pledged as a party to deliver Brexit. Now, in the next election, you're going to campaign the complete and opposite. Quite a lot of... And I say to you, that may not be a lie, as you put it, but actually, it's unbelievably disingenuous. It's a massive flip flop, and it's a betrayal of people who are Labour voters who voted to leave. Okay, so if I can get, do two sentences in answer to your eight. So, so the situation is this, right? In the last general election, yes, we had the manifesto, and now a great deal of time has gone on. We have spent more time with the, not us, but the government. It's the Tory government who have been unable to move forward on this. So we say a great deal has changed. We're actually now beginning to see the truth of what it would be like to leave the European Union. Yes. And all we want to do is check with you. And for you to say what our, what our manifesto is going to say now, it's wrong. Emily I can't Thornbury. even tell okay. you myself okay. what's going to be but in the manifesto I... yet. Because we have to have party conference yes. and a clause five Except process, and then we Emily will decide Thornbury, what our manifesto is. In 2017, I can tell you. Can you stop interrupting the, the Emily, Labour please? manifesto <laughs> says you accept the referendum result. Yes. You have sat here at this desk yes. and told us you think remaining I... in the EU yes. is the best thing for the UK, yes. which means that when you signed up to the 2017 manifesto, no. you did not accept the referendum result. No, 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 result. I accepted the result of the referendum. I always thought it was better for us to remain, but of course I'm a Democrat, and of course I will accept the result of the referendum. But as time has gone on... You don't as believe we are now in the result. Years, you never wanted and, to deliver In Brexit. the end, I'm a public you servant, Susan. Anna, and I will do best for the UK. In the end, I'm a public servant and I will do what the public tells me. So after the referendum, we said, right, OK, we don't agree with this, but we will do our best to make sure that the type of deal that we mm -hmm. have looks after jobs and the economy. And you've Therefore, said, we even said, if, if you go and, even if you go and negotiate union, a new, better Brexit deal, you wouldn't back it. I can't you be... You don't believe in Brexit. I can't be un you don't respect the public vote. I do respect the public vote, but three years have gone on. I have spent the last three years trying to leave, but in a way that will look after our country. So now, three years on, what we're saying when is... When did you vote to leave? To... I never voted to leave. So you haven't then, have I've, you? I voted to You voted against the... leaving every single time you've had the chance. So what do you mean you've, you tried to leave? No, no. When did you try to leave? Okay. You, Emily Thornbury. So I voted in the referendum to remain, and then after that I voted for us to have, be in a customs union, mm. I voted for us to have a meaningful vote... Well, you voted I for voted things for... which Brexiteers say are not Brexit. Well, you voted for that's remain. their opinion, you voted they're for, wrong. You voted for There's remain. There's lots of different ways... You that voted, you effectively, for a form union. of remaining. No, no. We would leave the European Union... There's there's many different ways to, to, to leave, and we think that we should leave in such a way that we'll look after our economy. It's the poorest people in this country but the truth, who are Emily, going to be most affected the problem is by the... a bad way of leaving the I European Union. I get it, but Union. the truth is you don't you want to... You don't listen. You don't listen. I mean, I, I have am people, listening. I have but people I'm tell you, I'm coming to my surgeries yep. who are talking to their doctors about how they are going to have a care plan if they don't get their drugs, if we leave with no deal. This is really serious stuff. It we is... can't play, play, play games of people's lives like no. this. 
No, but you can't play games with people's democratic vote either. I am not. And my Always problem saying, with Labour Party... If you're such a great believer in democracy, yeah. what's your problem with a bit more democracy? What's your problem three years on? I'll tell you what I'd like people, you to do. We're going to have a real decision like, again now. I'd like just you lot... I'd and like... if you tell us that you definitely want to leave, hey, we're going to do I it. I would like you lot to honour the original referendum result and if you think there should be a second vote, then accept Boris Johnson's challenge for an election and put it to the people. And let me tell you, right now, given the fury in this country, I think you would get a very unpleasant surprise. And I think you guys know that, and that's why you're bottling having an well, election right now. I don't agree with you, Piers. I think that what we're trying to do is we're trying to make sure that we don't bounce out of the European Union with no deal because we will be so badly affected. We are then going for a general election, but it won't be a single issue. It won't just be about leaving the European Union. There's a whole lot of other stuff we want to have a general election about. Like, what about the food banks? Like, what about every... You know, head Nothing else. As you know, that election will be effectively a second referendum. No. You know it and I know it. No, Come we, on. We, we can talk about every other issue until the cars come home. Nothing else is possible until Brexit gets sorted. People who had trouble get buying their school uniform for their kids know that there are other things in this world than Brexit. There are they many more important things, see and none of it's getting they... debated in Parliament properly. Well, I want, I'd is... love to debate it now. Fine. I'd love to debate the fact that what we should have is a general election... Then which have is about one. ...more issues Then have the than courage of your convictions hey, and call one. Hey, we're going to. And when we have stopped, no deal, mm. right, and when we have got back onto a more secure footing, then... And when we can have a Prime Minister who can't, like, with his Svengali yeah. Cummings, who's b pulling his strings behind the scenes, you know, mm. who's prepared to break the law and do anything to try and crash out. When we have stopped that, then and things okay. are back safe, and if you lose we will the election, have a general election if you lose, and it will be on a whole lot of stuff. And if you lose the election, hypothetically, but if you lose that general election, will you then accept that Boris Johnson has a legitimate mandate to deliver Brexit as he sees it? I think that Boris Johnson should be spending this time, instead of, you know, rushing Let's around the, the country, question. trying to have Would a general election, then he, he should be negotiating, right. which is what he promises he really mm. wants, he should be trying to negotiate a deal with the European Union. But he Union. wants to go to the EU and negotiate with no deal on the table to screw a good deal. Mm. Any business person will tell you that is a, s a sensible Any move. Any business person you will tell go, you... You want to go to the EU and say, by the way, we're going to campaign to remain against whatever deal you give us. But give and us you a good expect deal them anyway. to give you a good deal? Come on, Emily. Boris Johnson wants to, wants to, says he wants to have a deal, and yet all the Europeans say they've yet to have any suggestions from him as mm. to what it is that he wants. Your only so contribution two months, has been to remove from him his Trump card. Doing, his Trump card is having an idea as to what it is he wants. His Trump card... Apart from having a general election. His Trump card is the one we should have played... With the his European Trump card Union. is the one we should have played with the EU from the very start of this, which is we are going to walk away with no deal unless you give us a better deal. Oh, that, is that, no way, been... that, is, that is no way to negotiate. Yeah. You have Actually, to... it's the only way to oh, negotiate. So it's, so, it's to say, so it's to say, unless you do what I say, I'm going to shoot myself in both my feet. <laughs> That's what his negotiating position is. No. Wouldn't it be a better idea to say, do you know what, I think this is wrong with your deal and this is my alternative suggestion. Your suggestion. But he won't do your, that. To remind you, your my suggestion, suggestion is to get a good deal is to go to, to them and say, market. whatever you give us, we're going to vote against it. I no, mean, come on. My suggestion come. is that we have a real difference in terms of the way in which we leave, one that looks after jobs in the economy. All right. So the Europeans have always to heard fair, about and they know work.